So my name's John Bryden. I'm been a professor at NILF and then with NIBIO. Treborne was looking at local initiatives in bioenergy, mainly in the Nordic countries, in Finland, Sweden and Norway, but also in Italy. We, we can see from the cases that we've studied that local level has a very important role to play in encouraging this. They can make markets, for example, by regulating on new building. They can lead the way by changing the heating and lighting in their own building to bioenergy. And they can do uh, many other things like bringing together the interest groups to talk about developing bioenergy. They can invest in pipe reticulation uh, for infrastructural investment. At the national level, it's very important to have the right framework conditions for this to happen. In other words, the municipalities have to be empowered to do this and free to choose their own appropriate solutions at local level and also to regulate on things like buildings. And with all bio activities, you have to secure legitimacy in the local population, otherwise you have problems. So it's very important to stimulate that at national level and provide things like carbon taxes that are sufficient height to allow room for bioenergy development in, in that uh, framework. I mean, Finland and Sweden have higher uh, CO2 taxes than Norway. At the EU level, we have to be very careful with regulating on climate and energy issues because under the current proposals, Norway would be stuck at its uh, present harvesting levels, which is 30 to 40 percent of the growth, which is recognized as being too low. And if we, if we cut the harvesting, we will not have the opportunity to develop a bioeconomy or bioenergy based on the forest resource, because we only harvest about 30 to 40 percent of the growth here. And uh, I think even the climate panel recognized that we could increase that. And it's very important that Norway talks to its neighbors because they have more of a say than Norway does in the regulations. So we hope all of that is happening because now is when it's happening in Brussels.